Greetings, learners in exile, and all those in YouTube land and the interwebs. Anonymous here. We've been having a couple of discussions on our Learners in Exile forum on Facebook, and I brought up a couple of little issues that I wanted to bring up. Uh, one about our system and uh, where the Dulan fit within that. Um, I think the prearranged sets are probably the most attractive thing about uh, sabering right now for a lot of people, especially people who are training alone. They're a great tool to train alone with. Um, the thing about them is, is that they require knowledge and a base of basics from which to draw from. Because really, all a Dulan is, is a set of basics. Right? Now when I say Dulan, in Japanese I believe kata, in Chinese, dalu, forms, routines, these types of things that, that we're talking about. So a lot of times we get comments on, on some of the forms and some of the Dulan that, oh, this isn't this form, this isn't Makashi, this isn't Seresu and all that. And, okay, technically you are right. It's just a set. It's a set which is practicing the principles of that particular formula in our system. Um, in Seresu, we are thinking of defensive techniques. Now, there's no really good way to tell if somebody's practicing a defensive technique or an offensive technique from just looking at them with no opponent or, or, or anything like that. And even with an opponent or with a target, it can be difficult because a lot of this has to do with intent and the intent is completely unseen. There's no way to have access to it unless you're the performer. So, <clears throat> when we are giving advice to people as where to start in sabering and stuff like that, and people coming from, from no backgrounds whatsoever, they will kind of naturally gravitate towards the forms, towards the dulong. And um, I kind of want to dissuade you from doing that. Um, the forms are there and they're good little things, little sets that you can, you can keep in your back pocket and when you need some training, they've got great things. We'll go into more of the benefits of Dulan later, but in our system, they occupy very small space. Right? Most of what we do is basics. Those accelerations, those building of the skills, as you can see from the Ataru videos that are coming out now, it's you take some simple concepts and you just slowly build them up until you have a good skill set to draw from. Now you can use Dulan to practice different parts of that skill set. Um, but until you have that skill set, the Dulan really doesn't mean anything. Now this is probably one of the reasons why there's another camp of people who think forms are completely useless. Um, some people call them personal forms, some people just call them dances. And if somebody is doing them with no knowledge, with no training, with no basics or, or technique or anything like that, yes, they are pretty much just a dance, just a whatever. Um, a good kind of set form that you learn is like learning a song. It will teach you certain changes, certain common progressions, and you can kind of mix and match those as, as you want um, <clears throat> in real fighting. To stay with the set form means you can't just go off on your own. Because if we just go off on our own, we tend to favor only those things which we are good at. And we don't we kind of ignore the things that we're not good at. Don't make us feel like we're superheroes and Jedi and all that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> my advice to everybody out there when you're looking at all of our videos, when you're looking pretty much at any, any type of video with martial arts, just like with music, just like with painting, just like with drawing, all that kind of thing. Look at the basics first. Really, really get to know those first. The simple exercises, the drills, the, in our, in, in our system, the primers, if you look at the primer videos that come out, those encapsulate everything that you kind of need to know. And there's going to be bleed over, there's going to be certain concepts that are going to be shared and moved on, and others that are going to be specific to those particular training methods. But it's better to do that with some sort of guide that's gone before. Now if you have a whole lot of skill, you're obviously going to use your previous background as an analog for that. And you can simply just look through our stuff. I would advise anybody coming from a background to maybe ignore the Dulan because those are simply 
you know, exercises that we do by ourselves and look more at the, the uh, formulas and the, the nuts and bolts of everything. So, I guess that's it for me. Um, just wanted to give that little shout out to everybody and maybe give some people a little bit of guidance. So, um, I will leave you with that. Until next time, have a great day and happy Saturday.